Now I've always heard that Maine lobster is better than spiny lobster, so today we are here to put that to the test. I've got this Maine lobster here named Leroy. We brought him all the way down to Key West to put this question to rest. And we're off. It is time to make the long trip from Miami down to Key West. Since we're only hunting for spiny lobsters, I guess that means the first step is we need to find a live Maine lobster. Let's get the lobster. Good, how are you? All right, I'll do a pound and three quarters. Um, just a bunch of ice if I could buy some of that or thank you, have a nice day. Okay, we've successfully acquired the lobster. It's time to add it to our cooler. I do have a little bit of ice, but check this baby out. It's literally like a blue lobster. I'm pretty sure these are extremely rare. That is absolutely beautiful. I think I want to call him Leroy. I feel like that's a good name for our lobster. He's about to go on an epic journey. Take care now, Leroy. Let's head on over to Key West. Okay, Leroy is secured, but I can't lie to you guys, this place is absolutely insane. I didn't realize this, but Key West is literally like the most southern part of America. We're only gonna be like 100 miles from Cuba, um, but it's absolutely beautiful right now. I just really hope Leroy stays alive and that we can sneak him into the hotel. But here's one very funny thing I've realized about driving in Florida. One second, it can be absolutely beautiful, just like this. And the next second, it's like this. We've arrived. Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. As you can see, we've made it to the hotel room. Let's check on Leroy. Oh yeah, he is looking incredible. Still very lively and nice and cold. Okay, we got Leroy secure. I'll check back in with you tomorrow. All right guys, it is 7 a.m. But today is the big day. We're gonna go hunting for spiny lobsters. It's also Leroy's big day. Let's check in on him. What a strong, lively lobster. This guy is absolutely crushing it. Let's go get some ice. What's on this floor? Where the f is the ice? We are running low on time. No sh Okay, time to get Leroy. I hope no one gets suspicious. Let's get to the boat. All right, we're getting close to the boat. It is extremely hot out. We got to keep Leroy cold. What? You look wore out already. You breathing hard? I'm. It's been a long morning. What up? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good, man. Ready for that lobster time. Ready. Coming in hot. Happy lobstering. Happy lobstering. Okay, we have arrived at the location. Al, how we doing? Hey, it's doing great. Excited. You ready? <laughs> Lobster, let's go. Very first time lobstering. Let's see how this goes. So we have our tickler. We have our net. Let's see if we can do this to our best here.
Go. I just feel like I fought a battle. Let's go, baby. Dude. No, no, I'm not going to touch that. He wouldn't move. That's yeah. a legal one, baby. Yeah, baby. Woohoo. The keeper. All right, guys, we've managed to finally catch a keeper sized lobster. I gotta say, this is a lot more difficult than I was expecting. But as you can see, this lobster is just gorgeous. We have Leroy. I guess we also have to name this one. What are we thinking, Larissa? Leroy and Larissa? I feel like that's a pretty good combo. The biggest difference that I'm seeing so far, there are no front claws on the spiny lobsters here. Um, so the only meat that we're getting from it is from this tail area right here. Only time will tell if the main lobster actually tastes better than this one, but I'm just so happy we finally caught one. That was a lot of work. Time to head over to the sandbar to cook them up. Made it to the sandbar. First step, we gotta check this place out, then cook some lobsters. Sophia, how are you feeling with that camera right now? I'm good. Do we have insurance on that, baby? Uh, on the lens. On the lens? Not the camera. That doesn't sound very good. You guys getting oh, yeah. lobsters? What's up, right? We did. Yeah, you did. It's give, like, give, me, give me a quick rundown of what we got here. Okay, so here we go. We, we made these beautiful Wagyu steaks, right? <laughs> What we do is we take fresh shiitake mushrooms, we smoke them, we dehydrate them, then we grind them. Wow. Just it's gonna be an umami, umami bomb. Go for it. I wanna see your face. Damn. That crushed you guys wild. Fucking yeah, unbelievable. Son. That's what we do. Alright. So we're just going bare hand. There's no lobsters in there, bro. Is this Oh, what the f***? This ain't our boat. Oh, sh**. Dude, I almost, I was like, dude, there's no way right? we don't have Mr. Lob. Ow. Ow. They don't stop. They don't stop. Ah. It is finally time to cook up Leroy and Larissa. It has been quite the journey getting little old Leroy all the way here, but he's still doing okay. He's very cold. Not super lively, but he is alive. Um, unfortunately, that's about to change. The main lobster had a red tint, which seems to happen every once in a while, but it was really cool to see the difference in colors and patterns between both types of lobsters. I started by cutting the top and bottom shells with scissors to expose the lobster meat, then finished with a slice of the knife. Also, I didn't really mention this, but we were literally grilling in the middle of the ocean, and the tide was rising quickly. Definitely a top five grilling experience for me. Gave them a spray of duck fat for flavor and as a binder then hit them with a barbecue rub. Started them both flesh side down to develop some color. Then flipped to the shell side to finish cooking, painting on some garlic butter. They were done when they reached 135F internal, and I have to say they both looked great. Two very different lobsters ready for the head-to-head -head taste test. And it is finally time for the taste test. We've come a long way and we have been through a lot, but it is time to figure out who tastes better, Leroy or Larissa. Let's do this. Wait, Al? Al Frugoni? What are you doing out here? Max? What are you doing? Is that you? Dude. Oh, Lali. Hey, hey. hey. Amigo. Fancy seeing you here, man. What are you doing, man? That's weird to find you here, man. Uh, that's very shocking. Hold up, wait a minute. All you need to know is there's two types of lobster. Okay. And I just need to know which one's best. They look different, right? Yeah, they look a little bit different, but. Okay. Lobster number one, I'll take a bite. Let's see. <laughs> Before we talk any further, let's just try the next one. Number two. Come on, dos. Different. Mm -hmm. Favorite on three. One, two, three. 
Number two. Yeah. Absolutely. There's no. There's absolutely no question. That's actually very shocking to me. The main lobster is the second one. Oh really? Both taste really good, but I think the texture on the second one is make the difference for me, right? Yeah. Texture is definitely better for me. The flavor mm -hmm. as well. You know you live in Florida, right? Now. I do. All the Floridians are about to get really <laughs> mad at me. We're literally surrounded by Floridians. It is what it is. We got to keep it real. There it is, guys. We came all the way to Key West to answer the question. The question has been answered. Big shout out to Al Frigoni. He makes some unbelievable content. Good friend of mine. Be sure to check him out. That just about sums it up. We're going to go have a cold one. And yeah, we'll see you next time.